How to dedicate your life to full-time creating. And stay motivated, inspired, and consistent. And how do you get to a place where you're seeing some real traction? And how do you stay on this road of relentless hard work? How do you manage a full-time job and make videos? How do you make time for family, friends, hobbies, leisure, and sleep? We all feel like we're not living up to our full potential, not living the dream. Like we could do so much more with our lives. And at the same time, holding to our dream version of ourselves. Mine is lean, strong, hair flowing in the wind and rain. Skin bright and healthy, flowing in this energized, creative state. Unaffected by this world system of bullshit popularity. And overcoming those voices in our heads telling us you can't live like that. I've been making videos on YouTube for more than four years, but I've not been consistent. I get to the point of having some traction, then stop. I stop making videos for months. Truth is, I run out of inspiration. My creativity dries up, and I get lazy. It's maddening to think if I had pushed through those patchy times, I would be so much farther ahead. Tell you a little story. It was 1990, the beginning of the best decade ever. I was 21 and living the travel vlogger's dream. Too bad YouTube wasn't invented then. For four years, I was snowboarding, hiking, mountain biking, and partying. I was staying in Juneau, Alaska at the time and had came down to LA for the holidays. We were at a family Christmas party. Everybody was lubed up on egg dog. I was telling them about my Alaska adventures. My uncle pulls me aside and for a few sober seconds he says, I would love to just be a janitor in Alaska. That stuck with me for years because I know exactly what he was saying. We are all looking for the same thing, freedom. My uncle was the head principal at a high school and he obviously carried the weight of that. You know the saying, follow the desires of your heart, but are you actually willing to pay the price? 
Are you willing to face disappointment and frustration? Are you willing to keep on refining your plans and keep on learning? But above all, we need to grow. We need to struggle. We need to doubt. We need to let go of the controls. If you are called to this, the doors will be open. But at the same time, somewhat paradoxically, we need to have unwavering resolve to pursue the vision he put in us. So what do you do when your dreams don't happen easily or how you thought they would? How do you deal with the delay? It's in those seasons our foundation is laid. Our response determines everything else. Are you gonna give up? Are you gonna choose an easier path and eventually the dream that once consumed you fades away? If something comes easily and without sacrifice, it's rarely significant. So what holds you down? I thought about this for myself and I just started writing shit down. Tired all the time. Too comfortable to get up. My body is stiff. No motivation, no joy, no peace. Not eating good, desiring bad foods, eating easy food because making healthy food takes time. Sweets, mm, coffee, beer, margaritas. Distracted by the voodoo box, otherwise known as Netflix. Hulu, Apple TV, YouTube, Insta, TikTok, and on and on and on it goes. Let's face it, nobody wants to just sit around with their thoughts and be bored. God forbid that we just sit there in silence and not be entertained. It's the beginning of a new year, a new start. And for me, it's the beginning of a new era. In April, I'll be 55, and I'm not happy. I've lost the hunt for adventure, but I truly know if I want it, it's waiting. As Lionel Richie says, your dreams start at the end of your comfort zone. It's cheesy, but it's true. So count your days because they are few. Your life is but a mist. I know for me it's time to get my life together and start living, not just surviving. <laughs>